Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of our Subway Surfer series. Subway Surfer. Anyways, today we're going to be adding power-ups to our game. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our truck and we're going to be fixing some code. The first thing we're going to do is make a new block and we're going to call this update. Then let's press run without screen refresh and OK. Inside of update, we're going to be putting our movement code inside. So let's just drag in repeat until x is less than minus 300, put inside of there. And we're going to be using an if then statement. So we're going to be detecting if x is less than minus 500, then delete this clone. So that should be the same as repeat until. Now let's put this at the bottom. And then we need to run this update block. So let's go into our when I receive update and drag out update. Makes sense, right? I hope that does. Next, since we're going to be needing to add power-ups, we're going to be needing to add a list also. Let's go to variables and press make a list. Let's call this truck properties. Let's delete all of truck properties inside of setup truck. And then let's add speed to truck properties. Let's add costume to truck properties. And then let's go to control and drag out create clone of. Now we need to be creating a clone of the power up, but since we don't have that, let's right click on the truck and press duplicate. So this is going to be our power up sprite. Now let's go to our costumes and instead of the trucks, we don't want those for our power ups. We're going to be using coins and also something else. So Let's go to our sprite library and I'm going to shoot, search for shoe and I'm going to find the shoe with the wings. Here we go. So in Subway Surfers, there is a power up where if you select a boot power up, then you can jump really high. So I just deleted the second boot and I'm changing the outline to black. So this will be the super jump power up. So I'm going to call this super jump. Now the next power up is going to be a coin. So I think we can draw that in very easily. Let's rename this to coin. Let's select the circle tool. Let's change the color to gold. And there we go, that's our coin. I'm also gonna add a little bit of an outline. There we go, pretty simple coin. Okay, I think they look pretty good. Let's go back to our code. Now, the first thing we're going to be needing to do is change around some of the code. Let's go to setup truck and right click on it. Let's press edit and let's rename this to setup power up. Since this is our power up and not our truck. Now let's take out all of these, delete all of truck properties. Let's remove the add speed to truck properties and add costume to truck properties. And let's also take out create clone of myself. We're going to be setting speed to item one of truck properties. And we're going to be setting our costume to pick random one to two. Let's set X to 400. And then we need the power up to go to the top of the truck. So let's go to control and drag out an if else. Let's detect if item one of power ups of truck properties is equal to one. So item one of truck properties, and we're gonna be using item two. So item two of truck properties is equal to one. Let's change y by 10. Otherwise, let's change y by 60. So that should move the power up to the top of the truck. All right, now one last fix. Let's go to our truck. And now instead of create clone of myself, let's change it to create clone of power ups. Okay, now let's remove this show block inside of our define update. And let's delete it in the power ups sprite also. And then let's go to control, drag out when I start as a clone. Let's go to control and drag out wait zero seconds and then show. So let's duplicate this block. We're going to be putting it inside of our truck. Then we can delete it here since it is now in our truck. Let's go back to our power ups. We don't need this create clone of myself since our truck already has that. So let's delete it. So let's try this out. Each truck will now have a power up on top of it. It can either be a shoe or it can be a coin. The last things we're going to be adding are a game over screen and actual coins. Let's go to variables, make a variable. Let's call this power ups or power up. Let's press OK. We also need another one called coins. Let's find when I start as a clone. Let's drag out forever. If touching the player, then we want to collect the power up. So let's first detect if we're on the 
coin costume. So if costume name is equal to coin, then we want to change the variable coins by one since we just collected a coin. Now, if we collected the bouncy shoes, let's go to events and drag out broadcasts. Let's make a new message called super jump. All right, after we do all of this checking, let's repeat 10, change y by 10, and then after that, delete this clone. Now we need to set the coins back to zero when we start, and we also need to set the power to zero. Let's drag out when I receive super jump. Let's set the power up variable to super jump. And let's make a variable for now called jump height, which is gonna control how much jumpiness we have. Let's set jump height to 15. Then let's wait four seconds. Let's set jump height to 12 and then let's set power up to zero. And I think 15 is not enough, let's try 20. Now, when the game starts, we need to set jump height back to, was it 12? Okay, now let's go to player, and then we need to, instead of change set Y to 15, we need to set Y to jump height. Now I'm gonna hide the jump height and the power up variables, so just our coins will show. So let's try getting a coin. I'm going to avoid these shoes until I find a coin. There we go. Let's collect it. Coins goes up by one. Let's get the bouncy shoes. And we should be able to jump really high. There we go. So that's our bouncy shoes. Whoa, I just died. Okay, the last thing we need is a game over screen. Let's make a new sprite. Let's call this game over. And nothing fancy. We just need a rectangle. The color. Maybe a gradient. Okay. And all it's gonna say is game over. You know what? It's gonna say wasted from GTA. You failed the mission. Now let's go back to code. And when the green flag is clicked, we need to hide. And we need to make a new message called game over. So it's new message, game over. When I receive game over, show, and then go to front layer. We need to go to motion and reset the position of the game over screen, just because it's off center. Now we need to broadcast the game over message. Let's go to player. And instead of using stop all, if touching Chuck, let's drag out, where is it? Broadcast game over. Now, when I receive game over, we need to stop the other scripts from running. So let's drag out stop other scripts in the sprites. And let's drag this sprite and copy it into our truck, into our power-ups, and that should be it. So let me quickly check to make sure that script is there. Go to power-ups, yep. All right, let's try hitting a truck. Wasted. Let's try getting those bounces through. Uh, game's actually pretty hard. There we go. So you could probably try adding a cool effect when you get the bouncy series that I showed in the gameplay earlier, like a trail, or maybe something else, like, I don't know, you figure it out. Alright, that's the end of this tutorial, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more.